Welcome back everyone. We are going to discuss now about something called auto-waiting. Uh, this is a killer feature in Playwright and actually this is my favorite part about Playwright. And what this does, it will increase the reliability of your test by waiting uh, for specific states to occur when actually performing an action. So in order to talk about this, I would like you guys to navigate to Playwright Dev. You can choose Java because we are teaching this lesson in Java and go to the auto waiting page where you can see some explanation about what this actually means. So I would like you guys to pay attention to this table. Here under action, we have the uh, different actions that you can perform on an element. So let's take click, which is probably the most popular action that you can have on an element. And you can see over here the states that it will actually check before performing the click. So it will wait for the element to be attached, to be visible, stable, to be able to receive events and to be enabled. It also has a state for editable, but this applies when you are trying to uh, input something in a, let's say, input uh, field, for example. And you can check the fill action, which will wait for the element to be attached, visible, enabled, and editable. One note I want to make here is, uh, if you are coming from a Selenium background, you would usually use type to interact with input fields. Don't do this with Playwright, as type only checks that the element is attached to the DOM. It will not check that it is editable or enabled or visible. So have that in mind. So it is a very good idea to check all the actions available and all the states that it will check when you actually perform an action. Just have this in mind. Uh, let's go through all the states and see what they mean. So attached, you can consider this as the element is attached to the DOM. Visible, this means that uh, you can actually see the element. Stable, stable it means that uh, it maintains a bounding box for at least two consecutive animation frame. Enabled, it will, it will check so an, an element will be considered enabled unless it is a button select input or text area which has the disable property. Editable, which means that you can input into it. And here it says that it will check that it is enabled and does not have the read-only property. And the last one, receive events. So the best way you can I can explain this is by using this example. Playwright will check whether some other element, usually an overlay, uh, will instead capture the click. I'm sure you guys uh, all have problems with animation and overlays that uh, are displayed over your uh, element that you actually try to interact it, with it. And when you try to click it, you instead click the overlay. So the Playwright uh, will handle all these cases out of the box and this will increase your reliability immensely. There are still some cases where you need to do some work, but usually uh, it works out of the box. So you no longer have to uh, use static weights, fluent weights, or all that stuff. Another uh, important item I would like to mention is the timeout. So basically for each action, uh, while they check all these states, it needs to occur in a certain timeout. By default, this global timeout, I believe it's set to 30 seconds. If in 30 seconds your click, let's say, does not uh, check all these states, meaning attached, visible, stable, receive events and enabled, it will fail with a timeout error. What you should know is that you can, of course, increase this timeout, and this is uh, it's not uh, static timeout, it's a fluent timeout, meaning if the checks finish, let's say in one second, it will perform the click and it will move on. So it will not never wait the full 40 seconds, 
The only case when it will have to wait is if your page loads very slow and then it will it will take longer. What uh, another item that you can actually try is let's say that uh, usually your application moves very fast but you have like a specific case where uh, let's say a certain page loads very slow above 30 seconds you can actually uh, increase the timeout specifically for that action and you don't need to increase the global timeout let's say you you let the uh, you leave the uh, <coughs> the global timeout to be 40 seconds and for a specific action you can increase it to be 60 seconds because you know that your page has some performance issues in that context okay guys